Hello, and welcome to Mech Warrior Online. I've been looking for a mech that is the equivalent to the Hunchback 2CB model in the clan mech that's a counterpart in the Inner Sphere mech, and I think I've come across it. This is the Dervish DV7D, and I painted it up just like I more or less have my uh, Hunchback 2C, and I call this Team USA. Why not? It's an interesting paint scheme, but more interesting is the mech. So when you buy the Hunchback 2B, it has the capability of AMS. It has two energy points and four missile points. Well, guess what has the same type of armaments? It's the 70 Dervish. Now, granted, you can't match um, weapon for weapon by tonnage because the tonnage that you can put on a clan mech is better than you can on an Interspear mech, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's more firepower. If you've seen my video about the difference between Clan LRM and Interspear LRM, you can see that there's a difference between the two. They both have their shortcomings, but I feel that the Interspear mech has a little bit of an advantage if, as long as the mech isn't aware of the incoming weapons. Now, if their weapons are incoming and they're aware of it, they have a better chance of getting out of the way and not having as many hits as they would normally. But with an Intersphere mech, if they don't have any place to go into cover, the missiles are going to keep coming in and more or less do the same kind of thing as, as far as damage goes. It's kind of um, um, one person has one opinion and one person has another, and I can see both sides of the argument since I drive um, missile boats primarily. But let's talk about this guy for a minute. So this is a pretty mech, and if you look at it, it's not too dissimilar to that of the uh, clan equivalent. Now, obviously, it doesn't look even the same, but we're talking about the weapons. The one disadvantage that it has is the energy weapons are not on the center torso. However, this is also could be taken as an advantage. The disadvantage would be if you lose your arms, you don't have any defensive weapons. But the upside of it is, is if you have your arms, you can fire these left and right better. The one argument that I've had with the Hunchback 2CB is that because the weapons are in the center torso, you can't do as much um, uh, firing around corners and stuff, doors and corners. Because there is no left and right. They're essentially right next to each other, so they might as well be vertically on top of each other, like a 1964 Corvette radio. But look at this guy. Weapons-wise, because the weapons are out on the arms, you can do those kinds of doors and corner firing. But obviously, if you lose your arms, that's a problem. But if you lose a torso, it's a bigger problem with this mech. Uh, two of the weapons for the, we the missiles are out on the arms. And then the other two are hidden behind these doors, which I really like the idea of. I honestly wish clan mechs had that, but clan mechs don't. Let's take a look at this guy. So this is not the factory loadout. And though I have never taken this mech into a match, not once, not even as a trial, not even on the test grounds, I bought this because I've heard really good things about this. Um, uh, what is her name? Uh, something Law Girl. Anyway, she's one of the channels you'll see in the description below. Uh, she uh, swears by the dervish and a few other people I know really like this guy and so I wanted to give it a try so I went with a 225 motor XL and I've gotten pretty good at driving XL engines this requires one double heat sink if you take this off he goes into the red thing here and says you need to have another one on there um, instead of LRM 15s like I have on my uh, hunchback 2c I went with LRM 10s with Artemis so my Hunchback 2C has LRM-15s with Artemis. So this has LRM-10s with Artemis. But I would argue it's the same amount of firepower. And it's because of the way um, LRMs or missiles fire on Interstellar Max. They fire all at once. So all 10 of these are going to fire at the same time. But on a clan mech, these are going to fire in a, a cyclic rate versus a burst. So that's really the difference between clan mechs and Interspheres. And then it also has two energy weapons on here. 
let's take a look at the quirks. First of all, the skills uh, or the features of it. Firepower is 50. Speed, 66.3. And the heat management is 1.35. This is a lot better than the clan equivalent, which sits, I believe, at 1.19 and similar firepower. A little bit more, but not by much. Let's look at the, the skills. So you're not going to see much in quirks. I think I've got one armor increase on this, and I uh, added some features for the uh, missiles, uh, for missile ammo, so that they're getting an additional plus 36 per ton. So I added a cool shot and a UAV. Energy cooldown, minus 20%. SRM range, I'm not using SRM, so I don't care. Streaks, never use streaks. Laser duration, ah, here's something you can use. Minus 10%. Energy heat, minus 5%. Uh, we don't care about streaks. Uh, missile heat generation, minus 10%. Structure, center torso, plus 10, plus 5 on the right torso and left torso. And then the uh, arms are getting plus 18 and the uh, legs are getting plus 10. That's pretty nice, actually. And this is not bad for a mech. So I'm taking advantage of the uh, energy features by having arms out on the left and right. I didn't add uh, laser AMS, and it really came down to a, a, a tonnage issue with weight. I didn't want to have to put a bunch of th this, that, and the other things on there. I did go with light ferrous uh, fiber and endo steel, and then this had, came with double heat sinks when I bought it. Skills, not a lot to talk about. I don't have hardly anything in there and you can see I don't have anything there. But I will eventually skill this up. Weapon layout. Basically I'm firing these left and right just like I kind of would on my clan equivalent. And then I've got the uh, LRMs out on the uh, uh, buttons three so I can cycle those through or alpha strike them because remember I've got really good heat management on this So anyway, I'll do a comparison once I have some better uh, thoughts on this and I've got this thing skilled up a little bit more and We'll really see the difference but just for a taster if We come over here and look at the clan Here's the cl clan equivalent you can see four LRM-15s, laser AMS, because it only takes up that little spot there. The ammo is slightly better on the um, clan equivalent because there's better weight reduction production. But I did have to put four double heat, sun, heat sinks on here. And it was 1.3 on the uh, Interstrom mech. This is 1.22. So still not as good, even if it has better firepower, supposedly. But we'll give it a, a shot and see how it turns out. And as you can see... It is nice that they are up high like this and that the arms are, can be destroyed and that you don't lose anything really from the, uh, the exchange. But the downside of it is, is the, uh, because the uh, secondary weapons are here in the torso, it's really hard to be able to uh, get shots. You have to fully expose the mech to every part of the mech just about in order to fire these two lasers. Whereas that isn't the case on the inner spear equivalent. And I've also been playing with this uh, uh, Hunchback as well, the 4J. And I think this is going to work out better. Anyway, I hope you like this and I hope to see you in the battlefield.